everyone. Welcome to Malk Muser Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric. This week we are musing on Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. As always here on the channel, no taste finish review of this dram is coming your way. I will tell you a bit about the value, give you final thoughts, final score, and leave you with a malt musing. But first, take a second, smash that subscribe button, make sure you don't miss these reviews. I am dropping them every Friday on YouTube. Also have a Tuesday happy hour at 8 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday. We'd love to see you there. Let's get into this. Nika is a whiskey from Japan. Um, the coffee grain itself, first and foremost, we should talk about what coffee means here. This is not coffee in the sense that they include the actual beverage coffee. Coffee uh, was the last name of the guy who created the column, the column still. Okay. Column stills in contrast to pot stills allow for continuous distillation. Check out the image right here. And this whiskey is showcasing that style. Um, it is a grain whiskey. So this is not um, purely malted barley, um, but includes a bunch of different grains. Here is the uh, tail of the tape on this whiskey. Uh, yeah, it just says it is distilled in coffee still, traditional and rare patent. Nika imported from Scotland in 1963. So they started doing this over in Japan in 1963. Um, this whiskey is bottled at 45% ABV. There is the label and the presentation. It does not say anything about chill filtration or color. Um, these are not rules with Japanese whiskey that would prevent it from being called such. So um, much like scotch, that is the case. Okay. That's the tail of the tape here on the Nika Coffee Green. I should also mention actually that there is no age statement on this. So this is an NAS whiskey. Let's pour some of this out, give it a look and a taste. All right, first and foremost, here is what this whiskey is looking like. Again, we do not know if that is a natural color or not. It also does not say what this is aged in, so not getting a ton of information on this whiskey from the bottle, and that's where it counts. Here we go on the nose. Wow. Just wow. It is very earthy. It is sweet. <sighs> Coming in the form of chocolate, coffee. Yes, I know, but not that same thing. There are actual coffee notes in this whiskey. There's hints of vanilla, nutmeg. It is a very full, rich smelling whiskey. Little hints of fruit in the background. Maybe some slight, very light spices. This is mostly a sweet, earthy whiskey. Not an edge to be found. Not prickly at all. Quite nice. I would guess that this is a bourbon cask. But again, we do not know. There are a little bit of floral notes in this too. Subtle. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, y'all. My, my. Very rich. The nose to palate transition here is pretty seamless. Not getting a ton of surprises. This whiskey comes off very cask driven um, oak, but it is not a tannic oak. It is a very chocolatey, dark chocolate, cocoa powder, espresso coffee bean covered in chocolate. There's little hints of vanilla, slight toffee notes popping in with a little sweetness, even a little bit of like an apple cinnamon florals are still there but it's it's kind of in the background again i mean it's you know kind of rose petal type thing medium finish very chocolatey uh chocolate malty like a malted milk ball fudge nutmeg 
maybe a just a little bit of like a uh, allspice kind of thing. There's also this really nice wild berry note coming in right at the tail end of this. It's really quite impressive. Wow. Okay. Let's put some water on this. Again, it is 45% ABV. I'm just bring this down with a couple drops. Just see what we get. I'm putting about three drops of water on here. You never want to or overwater whiskeys, in my, my experience. Uh, the older they are, usually the less. In this case, I'm doing about four drops. The nose somewhat unchanged. Slight faded hints, faint hints of barbecue. Almost like a chili powder thing, but it's way in the background. There is no spice or or really edginess to this at all. No alcohol. Maybe a little bit of an herbal note coming through now with water, but bet relatively the same. Let's give it a taste again. Mm. Hello, Winston, the whiskey cat. Longer development. Again, the water is not exposing the youth of this whiskey really at all, which is incredible. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of caramel, that toffee note again, brown sugar, hint. This is, a, again, this is a very just dessert-like, rich, full mouthfeel, medium viscosity whiskey. Um, that finish is a little bit longer. There's maybe just a little hint of salinity now. But again, this is this is pretty much the same with water. Water just dragging, uh, extending that development a bit more. So a few drops is good. Mm. What's interesting about this is that it's both light in terms of its weight. It's not a very, you don't feel like you're drinking a very heavy whiskey. And yet the flavor is just so intense. So mouth coating, yet delicate and refined. It, it really quite, quite amazing mouthfeel. Okay, so Nika Coffee Grain um, comes in at a price here in 2022 of around seventy five dollars, give or take. There is it has a sister whiskey, the Nika Coffee Malt, usually coming in about ten dollars more. Um, this is not an exclusive whiskey in any sense. Um, you can find this pretty readily in the United States. Um, and right around that $75 mark for what you're getting here as a quote unquote Japanese whiskey. Um, and everything it's bringing to the table, you know, even at that end with no age statement and uh, not the regular integrity marks we look for, I think this is still a medium value whiskey. So I think the price is just about right maybe a tick high but um you know certainly nothing that you need to to turn your back on it because of it all right let's get into final thoughts here nika coffee green whiskey um this is a absolutely delicious it is not the most complex whiskey in the world but what it does it does very 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 well um i am strained to think about another whiskey that can deliver the 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 large, intense amount of flavor without, uh, uh, really without any age statement to, to show to us that it's been sitting in a cast long. I mean, what they've done here is really, really impressive. My guess is that they have distilled this spirit down to basically remove any type of edginess or youth from it. And the casks did the rest of the work here. Um, it's delicious. It's a really nice kind of uh, um, dessert-like dram. And I think this would be a crowd pleaser and a different, and a definitely one worth picking up um, if you like the notes I mentioned. And quite frankly, 
Uh, if you're just trying to get into Japanese whiskey a little bit, now this isn't going to have all of the Japanese flavor elements, but this will give you a sense of the style. This is not the first time I've had a whiskey um, that has come from Japan that, that quite frankly has this type of presentation in terms of how it rests on the, on the palate. Um, I think this is a great introductory whiskey to Japanese style and, and you can only get into more complexity from there. And with all that said, and the price point it's at, this is a 3.75 out of five whiskey for me. Definitely give it a try. Um, if you, this is a profile you like, this is that kind of chocolatey, earthy notes. This is something you should have on it yourself. If that is not a whiskey style that you're looking for, there are a couple other whiskeys, um, introductory style from Japan. I'm thinking the Kikero or Kikori. Um, you know, maybe even the Habiki Japanese Harmony, although the prices of that are getting crazy. It might give you a little bit um, more of a, a balanced uh, introduction to some of the things Japanese whiskey has to offer. But this is no slouch. Uh, I'm very, very happy to have this. I will probably buy another. And as you can see, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So 3.75 out of 5. That is the final score here on Nika Coffee Green Whiskey. Let me know in the chat. Have you had this one? Have you had the coffee malt? Do you like uh, one better than the other? Would love to hear about it. And um, I should also mention Nika has a Nika from the barrel, um, which comes in maybe just a tick higher in price than this one. But boy, is that one worth it. There, I've been review. Uh, from way back. You should go check that out in the archive. Uh, give you a sense of some of these uh, delicious spirits um, from Japan. So there you go. And with that, I'm going to kick you on over to your mom musing. I'm going to pour another dram of this because I'm enjoying it so very much. And with that, I will catch you next week here on Mom Music Whiskey Reviews. 